Hello and welcome back to episode three of the hardcore series. Last episode we built this lovely looking inn. I quite well, I think it's quite nice. Um, I haven't done any of the interiors. I did, however, bring the villagers over in between episodes. And I've then dropped them in here. The interior of this place is still largely underwhelming with this lovely grass staircase still in place. So we're going to go fix that real quick. Did, however, finish the interior, or mostly finish the interior of our, of our home. So let me show you what I've done in the house. It's kind of like an episode of Through the Keyhole. Here's the foyer. The foyer. Uh, it's kind of a bit barren. It doesn't look that great. Uh, anyway, <laughs> moving on. We've got like a kind of dining area here. I kind of like this. It's a bit cozy. We've got... Uh, oh, we haven't quite finished it, it would seem. Maybe it's like down to 90% complete. I did change the flooring to be a little bit warmer. We're going to put some stuff on the walls to make it less cobbly. We've also got a little kitchen area, which is, you know, kind of cute. Put a little put a little window in there so you can see the horses. Hi, horses. Let me take you upstairs. Yeah, so straight ahead, we've got this little, like, reading area. Another little window to see some more horses. Hi, horses. There's another window that looks out over onto the mountain range. And we've got this little area. So it's like 85% complete. I wasn't too sure. It's such a weird space to actually use because I wanted to use the loft area for some more storage. Or actually... I was actually thinking about putting a little AFK thing up there. But here is the master bedroom. So we were just sleeping on, like, in this area anyway. But I've actually changed it around. There's a little bit of store. There'll be a little bit. <laughs> it's like 75% complete. Never mind. Yeah, we've got our little reading area. Looking out over our farmland, which kind of looks a little bit rubbish. Let's just show you quickly the attic. And then we've just got this. It's all lit up as well, so... Uh, oh, these are going to be quite hard to look through. Today's episode, I would like to look at making this place less square and more farmland. So we're going to build an entire working farm area for all the sugarcane, the wheat, all our crops. And we need to get some livestock in as well. So we're going to, we've got quite a lot on this episode. Let's get the list up. Firstly, we're going to need every single crop. That's wheat, pumpkin, melon, potatoes, carrots, beetroot. Is that it? I think so. Uh, secondly, we're going to need huge, huge fields of them. Thirdly on the list, we're going to add some custom terrain in as well because this is really unusable as farmland. And we're also going to add in our own custom trees like this one, or better, our own rocks. And we're also going to be adding in probably a windmill, maybe like up here somewhere. I think that's a really good place to have it because it's like quite high up and all that sort of, you know. You got to have windmills high up to get the wind. Let's see what day we're on. Day 133. I wonder if we can get this done before day 200. Um, I've got a lot of grinding to do, so let me get some resources together and I'll come back to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God, that scared me. <laughs> oh, moron. So we've made the field, which, uh, well, we've made one field which I think where the majority of our crops will be, because I think we're going to put the windmill up here. Uh, but I also put in these rocks and a little kind of like pathway in between, which I haven't quite finished yet. There is a massive area underneath here of like darkness. So there's probably, uh, we've probably just inadvertently made a little mob farm. Instead of having a load of dirt, just try and cover this. We've been a bit savvy with our resources. And you know what? This actually creates a nice little pathway down to the river area yep there it is there's the the hole of death but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna start putting in our crops in this area i think we've got everything that we need so i've got most of the wheat in and we haven't actually filled in the gaps i'll get to that don't worry i was just looking at this and thinking right we got the wheat at the top and then we're gonna do carrots down here and then like maybe potatoes over here um maybe beetroots over here somewhere and then I was looking, I was thinking, do you know what? We have barely any potatoes or carrots, so that's a bit of a problem. I've only got six bones on me, so let's go and see if we've got any bones. Got a little bit of bone meal, a few bones. Honestly, we don't really have that much. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, hi. I remember finding a skeleton spawner when I wasn't recording, so I'm going to go try and find where that is while you do this. And the other thing we haven't got any of 
There's beetroot. But I know exactly where we can go and get some beetroot. So here's the skeleton spawner that I had found. We are going to have to just trim this room out real quick. All right, one, two, three, four, four this way. Oh, some deep sleep there that we need to get rid of. It's not going to be like highly technical or anything. I'll bring you back when we got some skellies cooking. I've just been doing a little bit of terraforming and adding in some of the crops, but we've run out of crops up here, up these stairs and in the attic. I've set up a little automatic crop farm. Now, the skeleton spawner, which I didn't show you because it's just, you know, it's just a skeleton spawner that drops skeletons into one by one hole. We got some bones from there. I put them in the dispensers and use this little machine. We use that to get some crops. We got some carrots and we got some potatoes. But the one thing that we're missing, the one crop that we're missing is beetroot. We need to go to the end to get some beetroot seeds. This guy is going to give us beetroot seeds in a really roundabout way because you see these guys drop in the pearls which allows us to craft ourselves some eyes of ender so i'm just gonna get a bunch more of these ender pearls from these guys and we'll use the blaze rods that i've kept conveniently stored in our cupboard in the kitchen and that should point us in the direction of the stronghold okay which way are we heading Oh, okay. Sweet. Just come through this clearing here. I just noticed this bamboo. I'm going to take it because we actually need some bamboo. We're on our way to the end. I don't want too much clutter in our inventory, but we'll be fine enough to take some bamboo with us and probably some jungle saplings as well. Oh, melons. Melons are good for the farm. Perfect. We'll take some melons. So it's going to be over this way. So I threw it on that shoreline. And it's just come back here. So. Oh, it's this one. Nice. Okay. Pop up, please. Hello? Did we just lose it? No way. We just lost one. Oh. Oh. Okay. We're in. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be there. Okay. Let's get to finding this. This could be it. Oh, library. What's in here? <gasps> Oh, power three. Yes, please. <laughs> That's really lucky, actually. We don't need any books. Uh, what? Well, we might as well. Book. This is the first time in a long time I've actually gone into a library and found a book. That's somewhat useful. I've been learning a little bit about how to find your way around these places. Because they... <laughs> that was good timing. Might as well just <laughs> jump straight in. Um, I'm quite confident with dragon fights now. You shoot into these corners. Get rid of the rest of these. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Please, no. Not. <laughs> that was a bit, a bit too close for comfort. we get it? We did. The trick is not to jump at all. Because as soon as you start jumping, you are going to get yeeted. There it is. And easy as that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Nice. Let's grab the XP. Right, now that we've got that sorted, next thing on the agenda, let's go and get ourselves a our beetroot. Is it over the void? It might just be on the land. Look at the levels as well. Nice. nice. Time to find an end city. Uh, which way are we in? I think we'll go... Hmm. End cities are probably one of the best, like, mid-game places to get loot. Oh, can we... Can we make this... <laughs> we can make that, surely. Uh-oh. I hate doing that. That is a great looking end city. Look how much there is to explore there. There's plenty of opportunity here to get some beetroot. Are you kidding me? Are you messing? Please be a render issue. That looks like a scuffed end. Uh. <laughs> that end chip is scuffed, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, hi, guys. 
please no. Let's not do this. Now we have to be really careful because I haven't actually got feather falling on the boots. And this place is known for killing people to fall damage. I feel a bit safer now. Okay, is it in here? Oh, no. Oh, we'll take the saddle. Do we go for it? Of course we do. Okay, we're on. We're on the ship. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you are kidding me. Why is it like that? Uh, oh, no way. Well, here's another end city. But this one is massive without a ship. Uh, I guess we'll just have to go over to this one over here. Yep. Yeah, that's so fortunate. I just headed west. Um, along one of, one of the axes. So the other one is like a thousand or so blocks that way. Uh, now we've got to get over there. Please, 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 please. We, oh, and there's an end gateway here, right here as well. That is like perfect. Hey. Oh, we're going to have to block across here. Well, it's not... I was going to say it's not too bad, but that is actually quite a distance. I can see it. I can see it coming for me. Right, let's get inside. We need to see if there's beetroot seeds in here. Any beetroot seeds? Oh, just a load of... Oh, yeah. Whoa, yeah. I didn't even see the beetroot seeds. There we go. That's what we needed. Amazing. Oh, there's so many as well. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, down horse armor. Oh, we've got them. 13 seeds. Not today. 13 seeds. Oh, and and uh an elytra oh before we leave actually we might want to get the dragon egg where's it gone oh over there i wonder if we put that down will it break on that oh it will awesome sweet there we go another achievement got okay let's jump in oh and our beds are obstructed oh hello <laughs> And now we can see how much progress we've actually made in the area, which doesn't seem to be much. However, we're about to change that. Sleep. The next course of action is to find a place to plant our beetroot seeds. I think we go over here on this side. A few minutes later. We do have at least one row of stacks of seeds. So that means we can at least get this area transformed a little bit. I want to plan out our windmill design. And I know exactly which one I want to go for. I've already designed it myself. So I know what resources we need. And I know I need to do a bit of prep work for the terrain. Which means more resource gathering. We need lots and lots and lots of dirt. But by the end of this transformation, this area is going to look amazing. And it's going to fit so well for our medieval little town area. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's jump into this time lapse. Oh my, oh my good, oh my. <laughs> what the hell? This is insane. <laughs> what? There's even more. Oh my gosh. Is that it? I'm going to give you one guess as to what's just happened. Oh, creepers, man. And just like that, you wouldn't even know it's been broken. That was a monumental effort that we've been through just to create this beautiful build in the background here. Oh yeah, I almost uh, forgot to show you guys. I actually done a little bit of interior decorating in here. This is Joe. Joe's a moron. He's the receptionist for the inn. This is a <laughs> storage room. That's preventing Joe from escaping. We've got a nice little seating area, uh, some coat hangers, and our stairs leading up. This place still isn't quite finished. Bye, Joe. What a moron. And there we have it. We can just peek out. Oh, hello. Look at the beauty of that. Oh my goodness. This tree is a beauty as well. Why do you stink? No. Ugh. 
But what do you guys think? I think it looks incredible. It fits the area so well. I love this little pathway that leads all the way up. We're going to stick some automatic farms underneath, I think, because we can make use of this area. Let me just fight my way through the pumpkin and melon patch here. Are those chickens up there? They've been watching me this whole time. You gotta love them chickens. I'm so, so happy with how it's turned out. Honestly, it just looks and fits the area so, so well. And honestly, the redness in the beetroot really makes the area pop out. We put so much effort into creating this beautiful build and it just fits so, so well within the area. So make sure that you like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.